Yes, sir. Live on this NBA 2K13, you feel me, bro? Like, this was like the beginning of everything, chat. This was like my test to see, could I even do this NBA 2K YouTube stuff? And I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> Years later, we still here, you feel me? But, um, yeah, man, off the rip. Had to turn off that sound, chat. Even though it was fire, your boy cannot be getting copyrighted out here, bro. We ain't going for none of that. Looking at the game modes, yeah, Create a Legend, which one of the most iconic game modes of all time. You could take any NBA player and basically play my career with him, bro. It was lit. But this was one of the years where they took out the dunk contest out of the main menu and things of that nature. Never understood it, but as we diving into this my career mode, as you guys can see, bro, your play style was literally your build, bro. And like you had to upgrade every single attribute individually, bro. It was not grouped up like how it is in current day. And NBA 2K23 was the first year they introduced VC. <laughs> and part of the reason why VC ever became a thing because back in 2K11, I could literally game share you my 99 overall my player and have five of them on the court at the same time going crazy in crew mode, bro. So they had to find a way to gatekeep it. But as we dive into the rookie showcase, you already know what type of time it is, man. You know, I come out here, I'm straight chucking. I'm an all around build. I can do a little bit of everything, very balanced, you feel me? Like, like, look at me, bro. I hear missing my first shot in Anthony Davis. <laughs> nice little pullback slam right there, bro. As I'm playing these old 2Ks these past couple days, I can't even lie, bro. They had everything right back in the day. Hold on, top of key. Bang! <laughs> but nah, like, the way 2K was simple, but fun, like, bro, they gotta get back to those roots, bro. All this complex city stuff, gotta go. You feel me? Like, that city stuff, we don't even care for. We don't even like it like that. Like, it's cool in hindsight, but um, let me leak out. Let me leak out, y'all you know saying? Throw that ball down court. Give me those. Lay. If I had it in my way with NBA 2K, bro, I would definitely just copy the same method that they been had, which was perfect on NBA 2K 16 and 17. Like, bro, we hop on 2K to a hoop. We don't hop on 2K to have a second job, bro. Like, that's doing way too much. And for some of us content creators that 2K is kind of like our job, bro, it should not feel like a Video games should not ever feel like a job, bro, or some type of burden when we hop on the game, bro. We got to get back to the basics. Go crazy. Corner pocket. Bang. You feel me? I'm not, I'm not just chucking in the rookie showcase, dog. I ain't got no badges. I'm, my jump shot feel a little weird. You feel me? The whole game feel weird, but I'm off the wing. Pulling up. Highly contested. Bang. <laughs> I had to make sure I dropped 20 in the rookie showcase, dog. Like, come on, man. I had to go out there and do my thing. But let me know down in the comments, bro. Have you ever played NBA 2K13? And if if you did, like, do you think it was a fire game? Because to me, it's a classic, bro. It definitely was a classic. But let's hop into one of my favorite features, man. Greetings. Nice game out there. I'm the GM of the Boston Celtics. And we have back-to-back -back picks at 21 and 22 in this year's draft. Before we make any selection, we like to get to know the player a little better than just their performance. Answer these as honestly as you can. We had a lot of turnover here in Boston, but are still looking to be a team that can win the title. There is a tremendous amount of pressure to win here for any player, much less a rookie. Do you feel you're prepared to step in and fill the shoes of some of the great players that have left our team in the past months? Yo, the voice acting back then was bad, bro. But I ain't gonna lie, like, having post-game, what's that post-game? Having interviews with teams before you get drafted was so fire to me. They gotta bring this back, bro. Like, this should impact the way you get drafted on the current day 2Ks, bro. I shouldn't always go number one through five. I can go late in the first There's or second no round. way I would prefer it. You had so many great players don the green here in Boston that I would just be the next step in the parade of greatness. Every era comes to an end. And by drafting me, you'd definitely be ushering in the next great Celtic hero. Nice performance tonight. I'm GM and President of Team Operations for the Suns. We have the 13th pick in the draft and considering using it on you. I'd like to ask you a couple questions real quick if you don't mind. As a whole, the Suns have kept the same core for the better part of a decade. Honestly, no thanks. <laughs> Off the rip! I'm in this league and win right away. I want rings. On I me! I feel like your franchise has a long road to recovery before it's ready to compete again. And, and I'm just not willing to give the time to wait that out. I told buddy I'll rip, bro. Don't, don't even draft me, bro. Don't even draft me, bro. I'm not coming to the Suns. They trash. Off the rip, I'm, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Like, that's the way to get to bring this back to 2K25, bro. 
like I do like the feature that you can select your own team off the rip because you don't want to get drafted to a team that don't need you. But yeah, man, I was projected to go twenty second in the first round, which is which isn't bad. I had a good interview with the Celtics, and I might be going to the Celtics. So yeah, man. But look at all these players that's no longer in the league. Good that's evening crazy. and welcome to the 2012 NBA Draft. With the 22nd pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Boston Celtics select the 20-year-old shooting guard from the University of Idaho. Yes, sir! <laughs> Bro, we still got that same blue suit in 2K to this day, dog. The same blue with the red tie. I'm sleep. But yeah, man, like, bro, 2K was really in a bag, bro. Like, I understand they try to grow the franchise and grow the, these game modes, but honestly, improve the presentation. Improve the gameplay to the maximum. Cut back on the new city development and just give us three individual environments to play basketball in. Realistic environments, not an aquarium and not a Halo map. <laughs> but anyways, man, this is what, look at this, bro. This was back in the day with badges were. You was able to put on five of these type badges to improve your player. Not have a million badges on and now your player feel broken without them. You feel me? That was for improvements only. Like on-court coach, closer. Like, come on, bro. Like, this was the, this was the method, bro. And then you get to train with other uh, legends and things of that nature to get you attribute boosts and things of that. Man, come on, 2K. It was all so simple. <laughs> But going into my first NBA game on NBA 2K13, going up against the Miami Heat, dog. The NBA champions, man. This was after LeBron won his first ring. My boy Kobe still was like a 93 overall in the game. Uh, Lakers was ranked a top team for some reason. But anyways, you already know me, bro. I got to do my thing. Demanding the ball fight from the corner. LeBron trying to close on me. I'm pulling up straight greens. Bang! <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, but like this was one of the best 2Ks of all time. Cause this was the first 2K where uh they introduced a dribble stick, bro. Cause back in the day you had to dribble with the left stick and whole L2, and it was so weird. But this was they introduced the dribble stick with the right stick. Look at my boy KG, dog. One of the best power forwards of all time. You feel me? My second favorite behind our boy Dirk. But look at me again, bang! <laughs> I'm an all-around build, but I kept shooting threes. Dribbling on this game felt so weird. I was so slow and clunky. And this was back in the day where dribbling was like. It didn't have so many restrictions. Like, you can have certain moves, but if you had low ball handling, you just did the moves slower. Which should be like modern 2K. Like, 2K is so restricted on dribble moves, bro. And a lot of the moves don't even be effective. And this was so fire to me, bro. I told 2K, bring this back. Not just, you know, goals for the game, but in, in the middle of the game, give me a new dynamic goal. Like, don't commit no fouls or don't allow LeBron to score five points in the fourth quarter. Like, things like that with a good VC reward will make my career a lot more fun and fire like and don't keep making it so repetitive make it adjust with the uh the situation of the game look at me playing on passing lanes playing on passing lane on the fast break think I'm about to dunk <laughs> lay <laughs> but I'm just saying like bro 2k I understand it's a lot to do in a 10 month you know development uh window but come on bro you're making way too much money y'all can still upgrade the game throughout the year Come on, man. Make another, make another studio that, that works on the game throughout the year and keep adding to it, bro. Y'all making too much money and your parent company is Take Two Interactive. Y'all make billions. It's no excuse, bro. It's no excuse. So, like, I just be having ideas to keep players on the game having fun. No video game should ever feel like a job. Content creation shouldn't even feel like a job. Content creation should always feel like a hobby, bro. It should always feel like a hobby to any creator in the world. And then some creators just happen to, you know, get to a level where they can make money off of it and change their life. Like, that's the way content creation was meant to be, bro. It should not. <laughs> Never mind. But anyways, man, when it comes down to uh, the next story by 2K, bro, which one y'all want to see? We did 2K7 last, last time. This is 2K13. What 2K you guys want to see next? Let me know down in the comments, bro. I might bring some other basketball games to the, the channel as well, man. We're going to see. But anyways, man, appreciate everybody that tuned into this video. You feel me? Uh, do all that good stuff for your boy, man. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. And now you're out. Juice, man.